kingdom takes time, patience, virtue, love, care, a lot of patience, and a lot of work, and a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of building. So, it is my honor and privilege to take some time out of my day to really focus on my people in my kingdom. Answering your questions that you post on my channel and even some of my clients that have worked with me in the past that need some questions answered, trying to help them get to that next level. And I want you to be constantly watching my videos and stay up to date so that you know what's going on, all right? If you just watch my videos on Velocity Banking, Infinite Banking, and Kingdom Authority, I'm telling you it's going to put you in the right direction. I am here for you, not against you. With that being said, my name is Denzel Rodriguez, your finance geek, and I've got a question from Magda Allen. Hey, Denzel. You mentioned that we shouldn't take the whole HELOC amount at once, but rather chunks. What are chunks? Is there a certain percentage we should keep it under? Or how do you calculate this chunking? Chunking. Okay, chunking is a term that I often use when I take a big, a big amount of money out of your debt tool to go ahead and wipe out particular bad debts to get my cash flow up so that I can start getting in the right direction, start building wealth and get my kingdom in order. Right, mom? Yes. So, first part of the question. Yes, we should not be taking out the whole amount. A lot of my adults constantly think in the mindset of borrowing from Peter to pay Paul. You want to do the debt consolidation move. You're trying to, you know, move money here to move it there so I can save on the interest and have a lower monthly payment. I got to get you to stop thinking that way. Okay, rather, if we broke up that theory of borrowing from Peter to pay Paul, if we, if we broke it down a little bit more effectively to our advantage, we can do the same exact thing but get better results and not have a monthly payment, period. Okay? So, if I have a HELOC for any amount, all right, and I take out a chunk amount, my normal, my, uh, I should say, my, my highest chunk amount is going to be 66% or two-thirds of the credit limit. Okay, so that is one way that I calculate the whole velocity banking in people's situations is I just look at the credit limit and I start off, I take 66% and then I look at cash flow and every other number that that particular person, that that particular client that I'm working with, once I have all the numbers, then I get another number that's similar, close, or maybe even more than the 66%. But my starting point is two-thirds. I start there. You know, I start right at two-thirds. So if I got a $15,000 line of credit, I'm starting at 9900 being my chunk amount. Now, I know people watching this video who are not my clients are like, oh my God, I just figured it out. I know exactly what to do. I'm going to, you know, get my $50,000 HELOC and chunk 66% just like Denzel said. And you are probably going to put yourself in a major bind. You know why? Because that person probably only makes four or five K a month. And here they are trying to chunk 30 grand. What are they doing? Borrowing from Peter to pay Paul. They, they totally disregarded the whole video. They were just looking for that one piece, right? And I don't mean to call you out, Magda, but I hope that's not the way you're thinking. Oh, if I can just get the calculation, then I can go and do my thing. And you might put yourself in a bad situation, okay? We don't want to be borrowing from Peter to pay Paul. Rather, we are strategically coming up with a number from the HELOC 
or the line of credit this special number that's either going to pay off particular debts, specific debts, or pay down specific debts. And the idea is once I make that chunk, I want to get a cash flow gain, an interest savings, and then I want to have the ability to have all my income go into that HELOC to satisfy that month's payment, to keep living my life, have all my money go in principal back to the line of credit. Meanwhile, the amount of money that I pulled out of that debt tool out of that line of credit or HELOC went all towards principal towards the other debt. And you have this awesome cushion that you create for yourself. And we also create a time frame. Now, we have to realize what is the time frame with all of this? How soon do I need to pay that chunk back? And typically you want to have it paid off within six to nine months. Nine months being the most, four to six months being the least, and you go from there. I hope that helps Magda. If you are considering joining my coaching program, whether it be one-on-one -on -one or maybe even my Velocity Banking Masterclass, if you want to work with me and get all of this in line, create a financial blueprint that's going to help you become completely debt-free, establish the kingdom, create those tax-free assets, start investing in real estate, building a business, building a legacy that will last forever, visit my website, check out the links in the description below. I will guide you. I will have links in the description below to help you get where you need to get to. My name is Denzel. Hope you have a wonderful day. God bless.